Hi, my name is John Gibbons, and today I'm going to demonstrate the use of spinal mechanics in a palpatory setting using a live patient. If you watched an earlier video, I talked about the movement of the spine, and I did discuss an extension rotation side bending lesion or a flexion rotation side bending lesion. So basically, if you've got a type 2 mechanic dysfunction, you can either have an extension rotation side bend into the right or an extension rotation side bend into the left. And that would be known as either an ERS to the right or an ERS to the left. Vice versa, if you are bending to pick something up to the left, you are flex rotated side bent left, or you can be flex rotated side bent to the right. And that would be known as an FRS right and an FRS left. To try to utilize that information on a patient, first of all, the patient is in a relatively neutral position. You find L5, and then you bring the thumbs roughly 2.5 centimeters lateral to approximate the transverse process. Even though you're not gonna be on the transverse process because it is too deep, it's an awareness for the position. So you find L5 and you bring your thumbs lateral and wait for the thumbs to sink in. Now what I notice with this patient is that the right thumb goes deeper and the left thumb seems shallow. So we have two choices. Either the left side is fixed back in extension and closed, or the right thumb is fixed forward in flexion and open. So we've either got an ERS to the left, or we've got an FRS on the right. Now, to decide on what is happening, we can look at two motions. So we've got neutral, and then the first motion is, can you come up with your elbows like you're reading a book? So you ask the patient to extend. So the idea of extension should be that the facet joint should close. Now, if I pit the L5 and I bring my thumbs level, my thumbs are relatively level. So it means now that the right side is able to close because it catches up with the left side. So in extension, they are now neutral. Let's go back to where we were. And then we go back to neutral and the right side is still deeper. If the patient is able to, can you rotate the pelvis so now we are flexed and I palpate again and this time the right side is even further deeper on the right side and the left side is even more shallow on that side. So that tells me it is an ERS left dysfunction. So the L5 is fixed in a closed position in an extended rotated side bent left position on the S1 facet just here. So it's basically an ERS on the left. However, in terms of a second scenario, if for instance we have a FRS and it's deeper on the right side, if we asked our patient to come back, come back please, and then in flexion the thumbs are level, so it means that both facets are able to open, and then we go back to neutral, and again it is deeper on the right. Now come back up into extension please. In this case, if it is fixed in an open position, when I palpate the L5, the right thumb is still deep. So basically it tells me that the right facet is fixed open, but the vertebra will be in a position of flexion, rotation, side bending to the left, even though it is the right facet joint but is fixed in an open position. Relax back down again. I hope that makes sense because whichever way you look at it, it is a complex subject. So in this case, I decided that my patient would have an ERS left rather than an open fixed facet on the right side. 